if I said I never really cared how I step out the bathroom, notice my perfume And tell me I'm perfect Oh, you're so deserving Baby, I'm worth it I'm just calling and tell you that I love you. I know you're not gonna be able to make it today, but I love you. And I'm gonna take good care of your grandson. Not, I'm not gonna blow the cookies like you. <laughs> 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 right now. So I get my everything. My pain and my struggle. My friend and my lover. I put that on everything. Feels like a forever thing. Yeah, you take my everything. Trusting, but there's something about you I'm in love with I say that I'm fine, but you know that I'm lying You read between all the lines Love, the way you pay your attention You notice everything So I get my everything My pain and my struggle, my friend and my lover I put that on everything Feel like a forever thing Yeah, you take my everything so we can have everything. Yeah, we gonna have everything. Oh, anything I give you, take it. Oh, Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you. thank you for all these beautiful women. It's my, my child's friend. Thank you. I'm glad she's got good friends. because she's gonna marry a good man. Mm -hmm. Let her stays be long and happy forever. Thank you, Jesus, for today. I thank you for my best friend. Thank you for letting her smile again. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Slim, for making her smile again. Thank you. God, thank you, because you don't have to do anything for me. Despite of my mess and all of my shortcomings, you still bless me, and I'm thankful. God, I'm praying for strength. You've given me these women around me, these prayer warriors, people who love me, people who have been there for me. I still have a mother. I'm thankful, God. I just pray that as I walk down this aisle into my new season that I don't carry mud over into the promised mm. land. Be with me, God. I love you, Lord, so much. I yeah. pray this in Jesus' name. In name Amen. 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 I know. I know. I know. I love you. We met at Central Baptist Hospital. We both worked there, and I was in such a dark place. And he just walked right up to me and said, you know God can restore. And he was right. I like that we're friends. I like that we took our time and we were friends and it flowed over into a relationship and that flowed over into love. Um, I almost, when you said like, I was almost like, like, I don't like him, like I love him. Um, I just love everything about him, he's so funny. He makes me laugh. He makes my days light. He, I just love everything about the man that he is. I just, I love how he loves God and I love how he loves me. As I'm coming down the aisle, I just want you to realize that I'm walking toward you so that I can walk with you hand in hand. I just want you to know how much I love you, that I adore you. I respect you. I honor you. Um, I feel like I was created just for you. And, and I want you to embrace that. Like you waited so long for me. And I pray that I can be what you waited for. I just pray that as I walk toward you and I take your hands and I look you in your eyes and I say I do, that we be determined to always be together through the good times and the bad when we're laughing when we're crying that we always just remain each other's best friend and that we always have this love for each other and i only want it to grow and as long as god is first it can't help but grow and i just want you to know that i love you to my first my daughter girl you are my booski i love you i cannot have done any of this without you you told me to get it together you encouraged me when i was scared to death to move on uh, my bridesmaids like i love you all you guys are my ride or dies like i love all of my friends um 
Uh, my honorary bridesmaid is giving my speech tonight and I love her and I know she wanted to be a part of this day and and I love you so much. I just love, I'm so thankful, but, but above all, I'm thankful to God because he just loves me so much that he's blessed me with so many amazing people in my life. And I, I don't take that lightly. I, I just feel I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed and I'm grateful and I know I'm blessed and I'm thankful. Thankful. <laughs> Somebody who cares When I found you Found my most intimate prayer When I found you I found what every heart dreams of When I found you I found love When I found you, I found the rest of my life. When I found you, I told all others goodbye. When I found you, I saw my fears fly away like a dove. When I found
John, this man and this woman in holy marriage, yes. which is instituted of God, regulated by his commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established and sanctified marriage yes. for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Yes. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. By his apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relationship to cherish a mutual esteem and love to bear with each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow. In honesty and industry, to provide for each other and for their household. In temporal things, to pray for and encourage each other in things pertaining to God, and live together as heirs of his grace. Who gives this woman to be married? We do. <clears throat> For as much as these two persons have come to this house of worship to be made one and holy, relation of marriage, it is understood that neither of them nor others present are aware of any just reason why the contracting parties may not be lawfully joined. I charge you both before our God and Father, the search of all hearts, that if either of you know any reasons why you may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, you do now make it known. For such any persons be joined together otherwise than in the harmony with the will of God, their union is not blessed of him. I know they don't know because I've already prayed with them, I spent time with them, and they already signed the license, so we're good. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, whose presence brings happiness to every condition, and whose favor sweetens every relation in life, we pray thee to be present and to favor these to your children, that they may be truly joined in the honorable estate of marriage. They have been brought together by your providence, sanctify them by your spirit, and grant them full understanding of their new relationship, enrich their lives thy Father, by your grace, that they may enjoy the comforts, undergo the cares, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together as Christian people under the guidance and protections of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right, I'm going to look at you. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is it. Brother Fleming Thames, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, leaving all others to keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live? Gotta say it louder, brother. I do. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm looking right at you. Looking dead in his eye. <laughs> Sister Pam Ross, do you, in like manner, solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband, to love and respect him, and to live with him in all faith and tenderness, in health and in sickness? in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? With all of my heart, I do. All right. Amen. 
To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise. And I do promise. And covenant. And covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your loving. To be my loving. To be your loving. Be my. <laughs> be your loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In plenty. In plenty. And in want. And in want. In joy. And joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long, as long as we both, as we both shall live, shall live. All right. Your turn. I, Pamela Rawls. I, Pamela Rawls. Take you. Take you. Fleming Thames. Fleming Thames. Thames. Oh, <laughs> Thames. Sorry. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise. And I do promise. And covenant. And covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful wife. And faithful wife. In plenty. In plenty. And in want. And in want. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long. As long. As we both. As we both. Shall live. Shall live. All right. Ring security. Come on, my man. That's what I'm talking about. One thing about a ring is that there is no starting and there is no ending point. When you look at a ring, it symbolizes the circle of love. And every time that y'all look at y'all rings, I want y'all to remember there's no starting and there's no ending point. Right. You can't find where that jewel was started right. on that ring. Right. You, can't, you can't find the ending point. So I want your marriage to be a token of that ring that is continuous just like that circle. So what I want you to do is take our left hand and you're going to say these words. This ring, this ring I give to you. I give to you in token and token and pledge and pledge of our constant faith, our constant faith and abide in love. And abide in love. For me. This ring. This ring. I give to you. I give to you. In token. In token. And pledge. And pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Now they have two special things that we're going to do right now. Uh, we have the rope ceremony. And after the rope ceremony, we're going to do something else that we believe is very, very important. And they're going to take communion together. So at this time, that you would play the music as they go to time. I His most excruciating hours, 
Jesus took time with his disciples, he realized that fellowship is important. And as he was getting ready to do what he came to do for all of us, that we might have a right to the tree of life, he sat down with his disciples and, and he commanded that we would do this in remembrance of him. And as I share time with these two, we fellowship, we discuss the word of God. And the one thing that I can feel confident in knowing is that they believe and they trust in the word of God. And so we're going to do what God commanded that we do. And isn't it a joy that one of the first things that they're going to do is take of the Lord's Supper. Yes, sir. So we're going to pray over this uh -huh. as we prepare to unite them in holy matrimony. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for this grand opportunity. For Father, it was in the beginning where you said that man shouldn't be alone. And you created for him a help me. God, we thank you. This represents my blood is shed, committed for the remission of sins, drinking all of it. Amen. Amen. Father, we have heard from these two persons the acceptance of the solemn and significant vows of marriage. Do thou grant unto them grace and courage, love and loyalty constancy and faith to maintain these vows to the end of the way. May this new home radiate the sunshine of your love and may every heart that comes in contact with this home in its several relationships be enriched and ennobled. Through Christ our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Now by the authority committed to me as Minister of the Gospel, yes, sir. I now declare Brother Fleming Thames and Sister Pamela Raw are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God yes. and the law of the state. Yes. God having joined together these in marriage, let no man seek yes. to tear asunder. Yes. You yes, may now yes. kiss your bride. <laughs> This works. I put you first. It's 
missing your turn. Yeah. I want to learn. Yeah. When I'm lost, you give me order. Pull me back and push me forward. Take me in and hold me. Hold me closer. I'll follow you up and over. You control me fast and slow. Join, your, join yourself? Yeah. All right. So my name is Dante uh, Langford. I'm a brother of Flemings, younger brother, uh, share the same father. Uh, it was important for me to be here today. I haven't seen him in 20 years. So. <laughs> You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. That's all right, so. You know, I've been, I've been on Fleming for about seven years to, to settle down and to find somebody. And I've been pretty consistent, pretty hard on them. And um, today opened my eyes up to a lot. And I'm proud of them. And I'm happy for them. And the amount of support that he has, both of them have today, you know, uh, it makes me feel real good and real proud, real happy for both of them. Um, you know, uh, this is surreal to me because, you know, when I got married, we didn't have the type of support that they have here today. And it's a special moment. And, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was here today. And it means a lot for me to be here today. And I love you. And I love you. And thank you for inviting us into your family. And um, this is to new friends, new family, new relationships, positivity, love, support and just being genuine and being real with, with, with one another. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> okay, I am Paulette. I'm a long-term friend of Pam's. She's a sister to me. We have 
we have journeyed so long. We have since itty bitty girls. I mean, like real young. I met her through our parents. My mo- my father and her mother were just really good friends. And he just bought me and set me on the porch one day and set me right beside Pam. And Miss Vesta had a shop across the street. She was always working. She had a hair shop right behind Eddie B's. And that's where I met Pam. And we've shared so much, so long. Talked out to us so much, too. Yes, ma'am, you have. <laughs> and she was at work. And this is my spiritual sister. Like, we have spiritual conversations. We used to have them every maybe Thursday or Tuesday, sometime out of the week. And we was having them pretty consistent. And it come about one night, she was like, there's this guy over here at the job. And he's looking at me when we go back. What do you think I should do? And I was encouraging him, girl, go ahead and talk to him, you know, see what he's about. And she's like, okay. The next week, we didn't have our spiritual time. She's still looking at this man. <laughs> By the third week, I'm like, you need to call security because I don't know who he is. <laughs> but he is running up on my spirit. <laughs> but that's when I knew that he had a spiritual heart too. Yeah. And that they were guided to be with one another. And I'm so happy that you two have met and that y'all souls have become one today. And that I got to experience it along with everyone else because you so deserve it. And I hope you receive it. And I hope you allow for him to be the best man in your life. And maybe you sit back a little bit and enjoy the ride. (laughs) Because you deserve to take a break and let him be the man in your life because it's what you deserve. You don't have to be the top dog no more. It's okay to kind of step back and let him be the top dog and let him lead and you follow. So what I wish for this lovely couple today, that what has God has brought together, that no man can tear apart, and you are so supported, so supported. All, everybody's riding with you, girl. What you say? Ain't, ain't nobody gonna walk away. We're all here, being here, not going anywhere. You're so loved. I just want you to know that and receive it. And I'm so happy for you all. It's been it's beautiful what you've done. I don't know how you could have kept up with her. That's I right. know she was doing a whole bunch of stuff that she didn't have no business doing. So I'm glad that they had it close today, so she couldn't even come over here today. She had to just be pampered, and you deserve it. And I love you, and I love you, and I'm so happy for all of our future get-togethers and new people in the family, and get to know more people. And I just appreciate getting. To be able to get dressed up because with Pam, you're always going to be able to be dressed what up. She's saying? always having a get together. She's always having something where you could be pretty and be dressed up. And thank you. I love you. I love you so much. Y'all did, man. 45? 50? 55? 55 years. That is amazing. You can around the pause, y'all. That's right. That's beautiful. So we have a winner in our group, 55 years. Um, that's a beautiful thing, and it's something for all of us to look up to. And you guys are very wonderful people. And Pam has something for you. So I like to uh, do a little case call. We want to give you some real flowers. And we are also giving um, you all money to go have dinner on us. So, so for those of you who are behind that, they're getting their bouquet, and they're getting dinner. On the so stay right there. Pam and Flem love one another and don't go to bed angry with one another. And Flem always say, yes, dear. And everything will be all right. <laughs> well, I've, I've been trying that for about 55 years And it's now. worked. Seems, seems like it's working out pretty good. <laughs> I love Pam. I just, you, you, you know, you. I love you because you, you're my family. And, and, and we're blood and we just... Just keep on loving and hugging each other and the same same way uh, Shirley Mack and I do. Never, never go to bed mad. Always apologize, whatever it takes. Never, never go to sleep mad. 
keep strong, Pam, keep strong, and listen to what they said. You know, you don't always have to be the leader. Sometimes you have to follow, follow him. And likewise, he follow her too. It all works out together. <laughs> Anything else? We love you, Pam. We love you, Flim, and just keep on keeping on. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. And Congratulations. thanks so much for everything you guys have done for us, because I tell you what, tonight has been wonderful. It's been wonderful for us, so thank you so much.